Ronda Rousey, thank you so much for joining us. And Ronda, my first question to you is, that was a very intense stare down. What is it about Holly that has set you off today? Um, well, all I really noticed about her is during the stare downs and during the weigh in, she likes to have her hand on the outside. So I just wanted to place my hand on the outside. That was it. And I could tell that she got really frustrated and liked that and actually put her fist on my face. And I really didn't think that was called for at all. All I wanted to do was have my hand to the outside and it was already frustrating her. And I really felt like all that sweetness and respect leading up to this point was really fake. And I saw in that moment and I'm really shook. I'm going to show her what's up on Sunday and I'm done with all of this. Rhonda, all the respect that you guys have shown each other, now it becomes kind of a, a, a madhouse. Do you feel like in the fight, you function better in this, like, uncertainty where everybody's not being nice? Because your last few opponents, they have poked and prodded you, and you've gotten them out of there really fast. Yeah, I'm ready for every situation. I've had more title fights than non-title fights, and I've been in many more situations than always have been, and I'm more prepared than she is for this, and I'm going to win on Sunday, and everyone's going to see. Rhonda, you've been asked so many questions. You've been the focus of this whole thing. And so many people guessing your mindset about how you're feeling at this, this particular moment. You've answered the question over and over again. What are you looking forward to on Monday morning after this is all said and done? I know you had the wings last time, but what is the thing that's going to get you to reset the button to get back to you? Um, on Monday morning? Um... I love waking up slow knowing I, I'm still a champ and there's nothing to worry about anymore. And it's that, that happy relief. And I live for that moment. I love that moment. I mean, that's why I do all this. And I mean, there's many reasons why I do all this. After I beat Holly and I look around, I mean, it's the most amazing feeling. And then I realize like, this is my place in the world and I, and I love it and I'm great at this. I'm the best at this. And I can't wait to get back in there again. And that's always my thought. And I can't wait to feel that again on Sunday. Right now, Rhonda, at this stage in your career, you've been so dominant against everybody you're facing. Are you starting to get into that area of your, of your career where getting the Ws aren't as important as now are you looking into how you're going to win? Do you look to make a point in fighting Holly Holm and even just outboxing somebody with her boxing pedigree or just going out there and getting the victory? I just go out there and get the victory in the most efficient and fantastic way I can think of. And um, I think that the, uh, the career as a whole is what the real goal is, and Holly's just the next step. All right, well, champion, thank you for joining us. It is always a treat watching you do your thing in the octagon. We look forward to seeing you in action on Sunday down under, of course, Saturday night here in the States.